Heart to Art, a reading and art summer program with Miss Mora. A partnership with the Field Library. Hi, all my friends from the Field Library. My name is Miss Mora, and I hope you enjoy the craft that I'm going to make with you today. If you missed the story I shared on Monday, you can go back and watch that video first and then come back and make the craft. Before you use any materials, make sure that you ask an adult if it's okay. And hopefully you have somebody that can help you out if you need any help. Okay, I hope you guys have fun and enjoy. Thanks. On Monday, we read the story Be Kind, written by Pat Zietlo Miller, illustrated by Jen Hill. Today, we will be making kindness flowers using recycled materials. These are some of the supplies you will need to make the craft. If there's anything you don't have, just be creative and use what you can. You will need a pair of scissors. Make sure that you ask an adult before you use the scissors. You will need some glue, you will need a marker, some colored paper if you have any, You will need some recycled boxes. You really don't need this many, but I was just giving you guys some examples of some that you could use if you have it. Okay, we are ready to get started on our kindness flower. These are the steps you need to take to create your flower. And just a reminder, your flower does not need to look just like my flower. It could be any type of flower you choose to make. The first step is to cut out petal shapes from the recycled box of your choice. It could be any shape, but these are the petals that we're going to use around our flower when we're done. I used an Italian ice box because Italian ices are my favorite. Next, we are going to cut out a small circle from one of the recycled boxes. This is going to be the circle that the petals go around for your flower. Next, we are going to cut out a stem. So the stem is going to be the long skinny piece that you will cut out from the recycled box. And then we're gonna cut out two leaves. The leaves are basically the same shape as the petals, but you can make them any shape that you want. Next, we are going to cut the front piece off of a box. Next, you are going to cut the edges off from around it and you are going to be left with a rectangle shape. If you have colored paper, you are going to cut out a piece of construction paper that's the same size as the rectangle. So you could put the cut out rectangle on top of the paper and then trace it and then cut it out so they are both the same size. Next, you are going to put glue on the cardboard rectangle cutout. And then you are going to put the colored construction paper on top of the cardboard with the glue. This is what we are going to glue the flower on top of. First, we are going to glue the stem on the paper. Then we are going to glue the circle on top of the stem. Next, you are going to glue the cutout leaves on the sides of the stem. 
And then you are going to glue the petals around the circle. Your flower looks great. Now it's time to put some kindness into our flower. Now I want you to think about who you want to give this flower to as a gift, if that's what you choose to do. And you are going to put their name in the middle of the flower. I'm going to use my son Desi because he's been so helpful in making these videos with me. Then in each petal, I want you to put one good thing about the person that you're creating the flower for. I wrote, he's a good big brother to his little sister Dahlia. He's a good dancer. He's funny. He's strong. He's athletic. He's also very smart. He's creative and he likes to make things. And he's also fun to play with. When you're done with your flower, you can give it to the person that you created it for. It could be somebody in your home, or maybe it's somebody who lives far away. If it is someone that lives far away, maybe you could have an adult mail it for you. This kindness flower is a gift to that person, and it will make them feel special and important because you've thought of them and you created something for them. You did a great job making your kindness flower today. Don't forget that small acts of kindness can make such a big difference in our world. Don't forget to come back next Monday at 1130 for another story.